Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're continuing making thousands and thousands of assets because I got something quite big in the works and honestly I've been recording a lot of videos lately so it might be done by by the time you see this video i genuinely have no idea but here we go guys uh i just made these three trees and i want to keep making more trees today because i'm not the greatest at them and i want to keep getting better and better i do think these turned out really cool they're a bit unique and uh i just want to see what else i could do so i think we're gonna do a very stylized pine tree today kind of like those like borderline naked ones if you know what i'm talking about so let's see let's grab a cylinder Let's make this 12 sides because why not? We're going to grab the top face, drag it up, something like that. Uh, we could kind of scale this whole thing down, actually. Probably like this and then SZ, make it a little bit longer. And this isn't going to be too, too hard. We're going to bring this in, scale it down a bit. And now we have sort of our, our trunk for this pine tree okay i'm trying to keep things very simplistic because it will help more people's games like it's easier to match a game with this than like a highly detailed crazy something 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 <laughs> so anyways here is gonna be our trunk let me go ahead and put a texture on this boom image texture and make sure we're on the color grid nice tab into edit mode a u project from view and we're gonna put this i'm going for this like lighter brown color i'm really trying to get better at using lighter colors because they just look so much better so much better uh and then up next we actually need to make the leaves themselves for this now a lot of people make pine trees the exact same way and i was one of those people but i'm really trying to get out of my comfort zone and actually learn some new stuff so we're gonna do s and x sx there we go Perfect, and now we're gonna add in some loop cuts because yo, this has to look awesome. We're gonna do, we'll go for this many. We're gonna put one in the middle. I am gonna raise that middle one up a bit, like like this, like quite a bit, pretty harsh. Uh, and then I'm going to grab my vertices select mode and proportional editing, grab the middle one here and just drag it up a little bit. We're gonna need to make this a little bigger. So I think they would actually go this way more so. So something like this, let me, let me try to think of this real quick. All right. So we do want to get a little bit more shape to this and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to grab these two and then scale them out a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe, maybe. And then we'll drag this front point out some like, so how are we looking now? What do we got going on here? It looks all right. We'll turn off proportional editing and drag it out some more. Something like this. And then these points will drag back a little bit just to get uh, more of a point to this. And then I think I want to do the same thing in the back, but kind of reversed and uh, bring these two points together a little bit. Uh, my goal, of course, is going to be to match this up with this tree. So I think that actually looks pretty all right. And we can always scale it up if need be. Up next, we're going to do something awesome. If you press a V on a vertice, it separates it. I don't know what the technical term is, but it is very nice. Check it out, V. And now we have a split here, and it'll look like a ripped leaf. And then, of course, GG to do a vertice slide. And then press V on this one, and now it's ripped uh, a bit more than the other one you know so we can definitely add some variation like that i'm gonna skip this one right here actually i should uh kind of undo this all right and then shift d and uh then we'll have a base so we can have maybe one or two different leaf variants i'm gonna go ahead and get the leaves done and then check back in with you guys when we have them all done textured and uh it should be looking pretty good all right guys so i have two variations here this one's a little bit more cut up than this one and uh i just thought that that would be a good idea so now we're gonna press tab press l to select linked and uh the bottom ones are of course going to need to be quite a bit well that might actually be a good size for the bottom ones i want to rotate them a little bit so they come down throw them into the uh into the bark there and i think that actually looks pretty dang cool guys and then this other one here let me go ahead and press l and uh kind of get that moved around we're gonna do r180 there we go move it on over here give it a little bit of rotation nice not the same amount as the other one we're gonna go either a little less or a little more just to give it that really random kind of effect perfect and now we're gonna press l on this go to our top view shift d r and 90 
All right, and uh, this is actually gonna look pretty dang sick. So, L, L, Shift, D, move them up a little bit, scale them down just a little, and then we're gonna rotate these something, should we go like perfect or kind of like a little step each time? I'm not sure, we're gonna go probably a good 45 degrees each time, guys. So there's that, then we're gonna do Shift D again, move them up a little bit, scale them down a little bit, and then R, another 45 degrees to line back up with the beginner ones. And guys, this is how our tree is looking. I will say, uh, we're probably gonna have to make it a bit short, a bit shorter, uh, cause this is gonna look really like cramped i feel so let's see let's move these up scale them up these will keep sort of in the same spots uh and scale them up a little bit and then the bottom ones i just feel like need to be uh quite a bit bigger as well so something like this i guess and then the middle ones we can move those up a little bit so they're a bit better of a fit here something like this all right and i don't know how many rows i want to do yet but this is like the idea behind it the uh the idea for the aesthetic this guy, you need some help, man. Let me see if my local movement's gonna work or not. Of course not, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna kinda work on this, get it real nice, uh, at least in my opinion, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I was thinking of it, guys, and I'm gonna say we don't want them to be as flat as they are because it's making it seem like it doesn't take up as much of the tree. Well, it doesn't take up as much of the tree, so I guess it's not really how it's making it seem, uh, more or less just how it actually is. So I think we need to grab these and genuinely make them like a lot more bent, like something like this. Uh, and it's all trial and error, guys. Modeling is all trial and error. So not too big of a worry. We're gonna drag this down a little bit and uh, we're kind of gonna do this with all the sides here and see what we can get working on. So I think just dragging them way down, you know, something like this, way more bent, uh, I think that's gonna help the aesthetic quite a bit, guys. So, move this guy down, move it on over and in, something like this, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same for this guy as well. L to select link, rotate it, and drag it down. And what this is gonna do is just take up a lot more of this tree, guys. And I may need to grab the tops here and uh, kind of, let me see, let's just drag these over for a second. And I'm hoping I can kind of grab this top and this top, turn on proportional editing, uh, and just see if I can scale in the tops a bit. Uh, I probably should have grabbed the outsides as well. So something like this, and then scale those down. All right. And then I'm going to vary these a little bit. So they're not, better turn off proportional editing. So they're not uh, overlapping with each other as harshly. So like, let's bring this one in. And then we're going to bring this one, not that one, yikes, this one, we're going to bring it up some. And that's going to kind of make them so they're not overlapping as bad. This is going to have to come up a little bit more, and we're going to bring it out a little bit. So something like that looks decent to me. Let's grab all of them, center them back up with our tree, something like so. And now we can start duplicating these and uh, hopefully ending up with a pretty cool tree. So same process as earlier, guys. We're just duplicating, moving them up and scaling them down so shift d move them up scale them down and then rotate that 45 degrees you could type it in on your keyboard but hey i'm not uh, i'm not going for utter perfection i guess i could say so shift d there we go rotate these guys 45 degrees and do we even need to scale that down i don't think so we'll scale it down like a little bit but i don't think we need to do it that much and we're gonna move these over a bit because they were seeming a bit uncentered so something like this guys I think it looks like all right. It's kind of weird. I think I need to add way more of a bend in the leaves. I suck at leaves. All right, guys, after many months and months of work, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so here's the leaf thing. I kind of, I like this one, okay? And I think if I add a solidify modifier to it, it's gonna make it look quite a bit better. We'll bump this up to like, I don't know, that looks good. No, I'm kidding, guys. Well, let's go, uh, let's go 10. Whoa, whoa, point 10. My bad, G. Are you good, bro? Yeah, I think that looks really good. Maybe 0.15? Just really getting real risky out here. Yeah, I think uh, I think just something around here is going to look really good, guys. Part of me says, hey, bump it up to 0.25. Uh, okay, that, that's a bit uh, a bit much. How about 0.15 again? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this placed around the tree, and hopefully it'll look awesome. All right, guys, I think... Uh, 
I think this is one of those assets that I'm just never going to be perfectly happy with because it's, I like really clean stuff, all right? And none of this is like lined up perfectly, which is by design, like, hey, uh, you need to keep the, uh, the flow and whatnot nice, I suppose. But uh, I think I overall like it a lot. Let me do this. And I keep messing with these leaves with uh, S and Z and just scaling them this way and then scaling them down. And I just keep liking it better or worse. Like I've, I've messed this thing up and made it better so many times. So I think we're going to stick with this to save my own sanity, guys. But if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.